Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python 3.8.1 on Microsoft Windows operating system. This is Windows 10. If you have 7, 8, 8.1, you should have no issue installing Python 3.8.1 following this instruction. So go ahead and launch your preferred browser and go to this website python.org, hit enter and you are on the official python website now now here go ahead and put your cursor over on the downloads button do not click on it and then go ahead and scroll down to the microsoft windows that says windows click on it if you have mac os click on here so go ahead and click windows now you can see it says you got two releases python 3.8.1 python 2.7.17 so if you're looking for 2.7 click here if you're looking for 3.8.1 click the above one so this video is about 3.8.1 so go ahead and click that 3.8.1 and scroll down these are few of new features in 3.8 compared to 3.7 so this is why you basically want to switch over to 3.8 so let's go ahead and scroll down to this files section you can see you've got so many download options this is a mac os 64 bit this is a uh, 64-bit zip download the executable installer download this is again web-based installer so these three are for Microsoft Windows 64-bit operating system these are 32-bit operating system so make sure you download for your system type you can check the system type simply go ahead and click here and type system information if you are using Microsoft Windows 10, you can check that way. And it says, okay, so it says 64 based PC. Okay, look at that system type. That's the model system type. So you can look into this system information as well. Now, once you are confirmed with your system type, go ahead and click on the right download button. So because my system is 64 bit here you can see I'll go ahead and click the web installer you can click the executable this is going to download complete package and that's going to be exe file if you need to port it to other computer you can click the zip file embeddable zip file 32 bit goes the same executable installer a web based embeddable zip folder zip file so i'm going to go with the web based installer what it does basically it installs very small file which connects your system with the, uh, the database and then it installs from the database so go ahead and double click on it locate it it's basically in the downloads folder on my system you can locate wherever it is and then double click on it if you get something like this simply say install anyway and now here do not forget to check this box add python 3.8 to path if you do not check this box you will not be able to execute python from command line or it's not going to be available by default for any application so make sure you check this box once it's done go ahead and hit install now you'll get user account control hit yes now this is going to take some time and then it is it's going to complete the installation of python and python launcher as well you'll also get pip installed with 3.8 and tk enter 
documentation is also is installed when you install Python 3 or 2 for that matter. So it's almost done. You can see TK support. Uh, so here we are. It's almost done. We will go ahead and try with it's installing the Python launcher. You can see pip. So that's basically Python manager, uh, Python package manager. So you do not need to install it separately. Okay, it's been installed. Now it says setup successful. Special thank to Mark Hammond without whose years of freely shared Windows experience, Python for Windows would still be Python for DOS. So yeah, that's great. Okay, so here we go. Go ahead and click close. Now, if you click on the start menu, you can see you can go, you've got idle. So that's basically Python idle. You can go ahead and oops, exit out of it. Okay. If you want to try that, you can try that. You can go ahead and look at the manuals. So this is basically documentation that you get locally installed. Okay. So basically, it's a full of tutorial and reference points. That's what the documentation is. Then you got module docs. You can see here it's going to launch the module docs, and you can click any of these modules, and you will have good information about them. So now let's go ahead and test the Python. So like math. Okay, these are the methods that you can use in this math module. Alrighty, so you can go ahead and close it. Now, if I go ahead and launch my terminal, that's the basically server for module. Now, if I go ahead and launch the terminal, basically, uh, so terminal is command prompt cmd. Oops, what happened? So what I use, I use this git bash cmd which works way better than Microsoft Windows and in inbuilt Microsoft Windows cmd. Now if you type here python, you can see it says 3.8 and it also gives me interactive shell. I can go ahead and do anything I want. Uh, so I can basically try python here. And that works perfectly fine if I go ahead and you know, desktop and then under I've got sandbox and then I've got hydrox I guess yes so I'm going to use the sublime text I'll quickly go ahead and show you how you can create a very simple program and execute it with Python so I'm going to say hello dot pi and this is where it is now what you need to do simply go ahead and you can try whatever you want I can say name equal to human and then I can say print name all right now I can go ahead and try this so I'm going to try this here and you can see it works perfectly fine so this is how you can try python in a fold sorry in a file and in python shell as well so perfectly awesome now you can exit it if you want you can go ahead and check the python version as well you can go ahead and check the pip version oops what was that pip okay uppercase so this has to be uppercase here we go 19.3.1 so this is how you download and install Python 3.8.1 and make sure you got it working on Microsoft Windows 10, 7, 8, wherever you are. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you have questions, suggestions, leave in the comment below.